Yo, it's your boy Marcus from Morse TV back with another video. Today it is the Road to Diamond video for the CX9. Probably, I mean, look at that right there. The best SMG in the game, I would say. Outside of the Switchblade, I think that the Switchblade edges it out. But when you have this three round burst CX9 build, it's pretty insane. He kills in one burst at pretty lengthy ranges and it does a lot of damage. So if you can hit shots with these 12 bullets with this setup, it's pretty it's pretty disgusting. It's definitely underrated. Me personally, being a thumbs player and less accurate, I like having 50 rounds in the mag. So that second setup right there, probably more for me. There's another setup at the end where I think it's more of a mix, but it's still the 50 round magazine. The 12 is just super difficult for people to use. It requires you to be super accurate, high risk, high reward. So that comes with its downsides. But this one right here, it, it fit me more. I just think that the 15 round mag, like for me, ADSing with my right thumb and then doing everything else with my left thumb, kind of, it just makes it to where I feel like my first burst never really hits the way I want it to. And since I can't really aim down sight without like doing weird stuff with my thumbs, it's just difficult to use. But if you play with multiple fingers, the CX-9 with the burst fire mag is pretty insane. Definitely worth a try if you haven't already. If you're one of those people who likes to use it, I don't really care to use banned stuff in ranked. So like the HVK is banned, the SKS is banned, um, the CX-9 with 12 round mags is banned. So I don't ever suggest people to use that, but you know, a lot of people just don't care. They just use whatever anyway. But uh, anything that's banned in the competitive scene of COD Mobile, I don't really use in ranked. Unless it's for like a video here. When I get the road diamond for the HVK, I'll show off the high caliber rounds. Um, and I just did the SKS. So just kind of letting people know that I don't really like using this stuff in ranked because I think it's I think it should be actually banned in ranked. If it's banned. In the competitive scene, it should be banned and ranked. So you should still be able to use the HVK and CX-9 and not even the SKS. That should be completely banned. But the other two guns, HVK and CX-9, you should still be able to use, but just without the high caliber round and without the 12 round magazine. The SKS just needs a complete ban because it's not, it's the whole gun. They refuse to nerf the gun and it's just completely broken. I don't know why it one taps at any range to the head and it also pretty much two taps at any range as well. That's pretty insane. The fire rate cap is nuts on it. It's just a broken gun. Shouldn't be allowed and ranked at all in any capacity. Anyway, that pretty much covers the guns. I, I kind of wanted to touch on, you know, which ones I prefer. I'm more of a 50 round mag guy than the uh, burst fire mag, even if the burst fire mag is better. I'm just a lot more confident with 50 rounds. You know, I can miss some shots, strafe around a little bit, get active, and not be so punished by the uh, short magazine. However, I have tried to build this out as an AR with the burst fire, kind of like an M16 uh, style gun. I also don't like that either. It just doesn't feel good to me. I know a lot of people seem to like that. Um, I think that's more of a four finger, three finger, five finger iPad player kind of thing. Me personally, as a thumbs player, I think it's a little difficult for us to kind of make that work um, successfully. You can still do it, it's just, it's not good. That being said, the rest of this game plays into the RPD because I was just trying to stay alive as long as I can, going like a long streak. But um, yeah, that's pretty much me covering everything I wanted to talk about with that set up overall as a whole the cx9 definitely still in my opinion if you're running the g8 or whatever you want to call it banded magazine is probably the second best smg in the game um, behind the switchblade in my opinion i will be doing the top five guns in cob mobile uh later on today probably tonight covering my but i will not include any banned guns uh the sks hvk and cx9 I won't include those at all because I just don't think it's right. I think anything that's banned in competitive should be banned and ranked as well. They should mirror each other. That's why nobody plays pubs in COD Mobile is because the pubs are just bots. And there's not really a difference between the pubs and the ranked. 
except the ranked has real people and the pubs don't. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's a weird game. I'll say that. Call Mobile is a weird game. Anyways, I really appreciate the support on the channel recently. You guys have been going crazy. Um, I love reading all the comments, people responding, giving me feedback, things of that nature. Uh, I'm just trying to be more consistent this year. Um, so I saw like my January, I had about, I missed out on a bunch of videos that I could have made. Like I've only made like seven videos in January. I should have made like another 17 videos really. So it's one a day that should be fair. So I'm looking to get better with that this year in the next month. And the shorts, I need to be about a 30. I'm probably going to up that a little bit. I have a lot of short content. I just don't have it made. So that just takes a lot of time. And that takes away from me actually playing the game itself. So just kind of letting you all know what I have in store. This class setup right here is the class setup I use to grind the diamond camo. In order to grind the diamond camo, uh, I put it on slide of hand because it's minus 35% reload speed. And since you're just running around shipment as fast as you can, getting as many kills as possible, that's just reasonable. And it's actually very good. So obviously you'd want to run a 50 round mags for that just because it's going to help you kill more people. That being said, though, that's pretty much it for the class setups. I don't really have any other suggestions. I was only putting on fully loaded right there because... I ran out of ammo in that last game and I needed more ammo. So it kind of would make sense to actually put that on, seeing as I'm not going to run Scavenger. That'd be kind of a waste of a perk slot for me. Um, testing out some of these other stocks, by the way. I like the CXFR. I think it's pretty difficult to use for people who don't control recoil well, though. I feel like it definitely has some strong cons. So I do run the other one, whichever one was already equipped. And for the barrels, if you run any of those C38 series barrels, those are for people who want to turn it into an AR. Um, I would never try that if I were you, if you want to run it like an SMG. But that's just my suggestion personally. And pretty much that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for another Road to Diamond video. It's your boy, Marcus. I'm out. Peace.